Well, Welcome. Diamond, we have we have another uh, sad story. Yes, that we got to talk about. We do have to I talk know, about we it because I know it. I woke up and saw something on my TV that I didn't like, and um, I was saddened, very saddened by it. Yeah, I was so sad by it. I'm walking through the house. I know I worked my whole breakfast off, mm -hmm. going You're off walking. about because there, but for the grace of God. That could have been anybody. Now, go ahead and start with the story, and then I put my little whatever right. on it. Okay. Well, there was a shooting mm -hmm. in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. 37-year-old okay. Alton Sterling was shot and killed outside of a food mart where he was selling CDs mm -hmm. and where he was given permission to do so. Okay. So, um, I, I'm assuming, I think it was a homeless guy. Mm -hmm. Called and said that he had uh, banished a gun, put a, 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 a um, pulled out. I think a gun. he pulled. I think no. I think he or, had the gun in his waist, and he showed his gun. showed his gun, gun or whatever, <clears throat> and like he had threatened him. <clears throat> okay. All right. So then the officers came to the location. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know everything that happened. I can only tell you what I do know. Okay. Okay. From what I saw, this the officers. It was two officers. They tased this guy. Mm -hmm. They tackled him, threw him to the ground, and pinned him down on the ground on his upper body. And then there was another one down around his lower body. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm tired of seeing the same bull crap. I am You too. know, people have their cameras out and they're seeing this right here. Mm -hmm. And,. You know, everybody is jumping to conclusions. Everybody's going off or what have you. And I know that we have to let uh, the police do their investigation. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have to really get serious about this. Well, we're going to have to get, well, especially okay. when I woke up this morning. When I woke up this morning and cut on my TV. As he said, Silk, I wouldn't talk about it. I know. I would I never know. talk about this, but it was on my TV. I got you. And I don't want nobody to tell me, don't cut, it was diamond, cut your TV off. It's my damn TV. That's right. I paid for it. I'm cutting it on. Yes. yes. And I shouldn't wake up and see what I saw happen. I believe it was in, was in it, Minnesota. In Minnesota. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where yeah, you yeah, yeah. have a girlfriend and her fiance. Mm -hmm. With the child in the In the back. back seat. Stopped by the police because of a broken headlight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, the, the 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 guy told him, I I, I carry I a carry, weapon. I yeah, carry one. Open, yes. I have I have a a, a, a permit to carry mm -hmm. one, but I'm gonna reach in here to get my license and everything out. Mm -hmm. While he's reaching, the police just shoot him four times. That to me is crazy. Now, in this country, you all. Mm. I I just got to call it like I see it. Call because it like you see it. This is not about, <clears throat> this ain't about white people shooting black people. That's this is right. not about white cops shooting black people. That's right. This is about white officers that have no damn business being on the force, overreacting and scared of black men. Mm. That's what this is about. Mm. This, this is what this, this yeah. is what this is about. Yeah. Because in each of these cases, it's like, you're, why, why are we overreacting? Yeah. No, in the first case, this guy, he had a gun in his pocket He had a somewhere. gun in his pocket, and, you know, from another angle, mm -hmm. you can kind of see some struggling going mm -hmm. on there. But what? But, what but what's the overreach? Meaning, what I'm trying to say is That's right what I'm here. about to come to, yeah. If you tell me to put my hands up, and I throw my hands up, yeah. do that mean you get to come and tackle me to the ground because somebody told you I had a gun? Right. Okay? I, I, right. I don't understand that. Like, it shouldn't it be where I'm at. Why are you putting your why are you putting why are you your putting hands, your hands on, me? on me? What you what what's uh, happening? You want me to put my hands okay. out for what? What have okay. I done? Yeah. But I'm outraged about what happened in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. The girl name was Diamond, and y'all know my name is Diamond. Uh huh. So I'm like this. It just caught my attention. It was just so sad that she took and she live feed this thing through Facebook, mm -hmm. so you all could see her uh, fiance bleeding mm. to death. He mm -hmm. bled to death, yeah. you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn well, if it, the shoe was on the other foot and if it, if it, if this guy was a white guy. I was about to say white. you have a lot of you have a lot of police officers. I would say white and black police officers that have shot white and black men. So but, why are you? Why are we okay? So this here act. It, 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 so it, it, but 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 can I say just one okay, thing? Okay, go ahead. 
you have the media that sensationalizes the white officer shooting the black person. Got Because didn't somebody else get shot? It was a white guy shot. that got it shot. It was a white police but officer not that shot a white guy. But they're not talking about they're that. They're not going to talk about that because it don't give you all of this attention. Mm -hmm. And it don't. It don't go pull at the heartstrings heart of your pain mm -hmm. that you already a lot of people. But in Minnesota, yeah. that bothered me because I saw a guy that he's a supervisor of a cafeteria. Mm -hmm. So he makes sure the kids are fed. Fed. Mm -hmm. To lose your life, mm -hmm. all for reaching into your glove compartment to get your the identification. ID. That, yeah. When I, when he. Ain't you supposed to let them know that you carry a weapon? Which I, the guy let the he officer let know. know. He let him know. And what, I don't what? think no, no gun or nothing never came up. But this man's the, life is gone. The man's I'm life sorry. is gone. This, this, this officer does not represent the officers that protect no. to protect and serve. No. This officer, he is he is he was scared. Yeah. Well, officers are supposed to be here to protect and serve. But this particular this officer, particular one, mm -mm. no, 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 no. This one, is not a true officer. It's a lot of officers out there, really, Diamond, like you just said, they are scared as hell. And what needs to happen, okay, mm -hmm. somebody's going to have to be reevaluated here. Are you going to be able to handle this particular job? So I believe that that's when the Justice Department need to get, make recommendations to the police department. Okay, wait a minute. We don't need to hire any police officers that are scared of people. That's just like, for example, if you tell me, okay, here's your job, Diamond. You have to make sure you look out for spiders. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm scared of spiders, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to have is some raid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to have a swap ball oh, just shoot. in case you come at me the uh -huh. wrong way. To get you, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. So my, my thing is this, and I'm not comparing people to spiders. I'm just saying... If you are hiring people mm -hmm. that fear people yes. of color, yes. fear people or just fear people, people. period, yes. that's maybe big or whatever, they don't need to be working on the force because they're making our good officers, the yes. one that protect and serve. Yes. Because we were just in Bradenton, Florida, where they protect us yes. and they served us. That's right. So I can't throw all police officers under the bus. That's right. But this one in Minnesota. The, the, the few. Yeah, the few. That, ones that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. This one right here in Minnesota. Yeah. He don't need to pass go. Yeah. Nor does he need to collect $200. He need to be put in jail. And don't put him on no administrative leave. I got you. You're right. And, and, and a lot of times, okay, whenever they put this on TV and you keep seeing it over and over mm -hmm. and over, it is invoking fear in those and officers. officers. So uh, when you come up to the situation, they already, you already on the fence in your mind uh -huh. that, to overreact. That's right. And bam, before you know it, somebody's, you know, dead. somebody's dead. Mm. And so people don't, they need to know proper protocol. It's like proper protocol has just went out of the white window. Yeah, and then, okay, wait, wait, do if things. you stop me, yes, because I have a broken headlight, uh huh. Why the hell, why are you drawing a gun? gun what did that, on me, right? Where did that come in? When did you, that's where proper protocol come uh -huh. into play because I'm. It reminds me of this guy. Remember, I believe it was in South Carolina. He gets out his truck. Mm -hmm. The police stop him. The police said, well, do you have your ID? I don't know why men keep their ID and stuff in their glove compartment. Oh, All of them pretty much do. Yeah. He reaches back in his car to, and the police just started That's gunning true. him down. Yeah. Remember that? Yes. This is what this case reminds exactly. me of. Exactly. See, these type of people, I don't think they need to be on the no, floor. They, they make the good floor. officers look bad. Yes. I'm telling you today, the, the police officers is paying for bad. a lot of stuff. Yes. A yes. lot of our good officers, officers. you all that really do yes. protect, serve, they don't overreact, they're right. not scared of people. Exactly. But you got these few, these few, these few pockets of people these that few. don't need to be on yes. the force if you are scared of yes. people. Yes. And I think this and, and they're putting the, what the media is doing is putting the, spy, the spotlight on white officers mm. killing black people. And, and, and even though we know that just the other day a white officer, officer shot a, a white, white person, person, they don't never talk and about a that black, story. It was a black officer that shot a white person. They don't you talk, don't about, talk that. about that. You don't hear that. All but you see is the white, white officer. officer Shoots the black the black person, right. and then here come that racial divide. Here but it's come, not about racism. I know though. it's not. Mm. But here come the racial divide. Here come Al Sharpton. Here come Jesse Jackson. And then once now, this is what gets me. Once the money done ran out, they gone. 
once these black people get in the street and, and start, start protesting, for about a start week or so, throwing up mm -hmm. their hand, talking about their life, mm -hmm. Black Lives Matters, and all of this other different stuff, That's gone. after a week, mm -hmm. it's over mm -hmm. until another white officer shoots She's a like black, black person. person. So then there's a double standard here. It's a double standard. And then this is the way to pull at the heart strings. And this is the way to bring up the race car when this to is keep not about, about yeah. But but see, it's not gonna do no good for people to be rising up in the streets that's because right. it ain't never done and no good. That's where I was about to go. Okay. See, you have been marching for years and protesting for mm -hmm. years, but you still wondering why it keep happening. You keep saying, "Well, they did this to us." But you keep voting for the same day that, that have that in place. They have the power uh, right, to, to put stuff in, in place. Because ain't the Justice Department over the police department? You're right. I thought that's how right, it went. Right. So then that means the Justice Department need to say, okay, listen. If our officers cannot protect and serve without being afraid of people, yeah. they don't need to do it. Exactly. Because to me, this looked like a clear uh, 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 over overreaction. It's an over, overreacting. Mm -hmm. Is you got this? I just go ahead and shoot you, yes. and then oh, I just did it just because. And you can't do that because let me tell you something. Yes. People' lives are destroyed and gone. It's gone. They're not yes. coming back. Uh -huh. All because somebody overreacted. That's right. And that's what's so sad it's, about. It's, it's really, all of it's this really here. sad. And then you know. I, I'm not a police officer. Don't don't choose to be a police mm -hmm. officer. They go through a lot now. They go through a whole lot, and 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 kudos to the good police officers kudos out to them. there. That's because doing the we right had thing. some in Florida, yes. baby. They looked out yes. for diamond and silk. Yes. They looked out for they the made sure they looked out for everybody. They, that and was everybody there. that was yes. at our venue, they, they did their job, protect, protect and serve. Yes, they did. But there is proper protocol whenever you are an officer and you're doing your job. Just okay, people. They they you know have this thing here that if I say get on the ground, you're supposed to get on the ground. You're supposed to comply. Well, you're supposed to obey an order, but mm -hmm. it's got to be respect on both sides. There you then. go. It's got yes. to be a level of respect yes. because if I'm minding my business mm -hmm. and the officer say, "Diamond, get on the ground," but what the hell did I, I do? Get on the why why I got to get on the ground? You know I can't get back up. Right. Because it's gonna be hard for me to get my behind back up off this ground if you tell me to get on exactly. it. That's what I'm gonna be exactly. saying. And then another. Sad thing that I would really want to bring up right quick is that it's so sad how people take and justify the reasoning for a shooting based off of somebody's past record. No, it, I, that's I, right. I, I yeah, don't yeah. like that yeah. because, you know, at that time, was he doing whatever his past or her past record Yeah, Were right. they doing it then and there? What happened right then and there? Mm -hmm. Let's stay stuck as to what happened right then mm -hmm. and then. Stay on point. Stay, 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 stay with the facts. Stay with the facts. I don't want to hear about the past. What happened? What this? What that? Next. Mm -hmm. Especially for the black community mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. keep voting for the same system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can get on back out there and you can march in the streets for a week. Mm -hmm. And then go home and sit down and do absolutely nothing. Yeah, you could do that. But what you all need to understand is that there is proper protocol even for you. Absolutely. Even for us. Not there just black protocol. people, for all, all people. people. There's proper protocols. Mm -hmm. There's just this. Everybody got to bear responsibility. Everybody. In all of this. Yeah. There's policies that's written into law. Mm -hmm. a, 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 a legislature that just. There's different things that's written. Mm -hmm. We need to go to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not just stay on the surface. surface. That's right. Get some money out of it and then mm -hmm. you're done. Right. And then to the next shooting we happens. Need to, exactly. We need to go to the root of it because police officers has been around for years. Mm -hmm. People have been around for years including black people. Everybody has been around for years. Where did this start? Mm -hmm. Why is it happening so much. Much. Or we got is the media down. just putting it in there? We got to get down to the Nitty to gritty. the dog on meat and potato yeah. as to why this is happening. Right, right. That's what we got to get to. Where do it start mm -hmm. from? And it's a damn shame that our black leaders mm -hmm. would come in to go off about what's going on instead of getting to the root of okay, mm -hmm. 
Where did these police officers come from? Who hires these police officers? Who hires these are, ones that overreacts like Are this? there any mental evaluation before going out on the streets on how to handle certain things? Mm -hmm. This needs to, it, there needs to be some type of routine for all police officers so that they can make sure they're all on the same point. Because this one particular shooting that I saw in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, mm -hmm. the other officer could have gotten killed. Oh, because of the way he the shot way the guy. Gosh, that that exactly. Other that other See, that's over, 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 and, and I think a lot killed. of too can be adrenaline too. Your it can be adrenaline. Is rushing, you got, like, yes, oh. God. Okay, it's my life or his life. We shoot first and ask questions mm -hmm. later. There's but with this one in Minnesota, be. though, it's almost like okay. So, are you telling us that black men do not have the right to bear arms? That they cannot carry a concealed weapon? Are you telling me that? Me, as a black woman, I can't walk up in the grocery store with my weapon on the side if I have papers without an officer approaching me like I done done something wrong. Since that, I, that outraged me. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Look. I can't be on your side if this don't look right. right. And that didn't look right to see it a man right. dying on national TV. Yes. And all he was reaching for was his ID. And he informed you, hey, I'm carrying a concealed weapon. weapon. Right. It's a concealed weapon weapon and you yes. just pull out your gun yes. and shoot him down. That's right. But see, once again, when you have that fear and that respect, all of that is right there on the line, mm -hmm. okay? You know, and, and you got the media right there. Oh, and they, they, they fuel it. it. They just fuel it. If you go in and really do your research, you will find out that there is a lot of officers, a lot of white people that is getting shot. Oh, More absolutely. Than black people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Next thing, I know we got to go. Mm -hmm. But next thing, our black people, please understand something. Yes. Okay? You get out in these streets and you protest about a white police officer shooting a black person. Mm -hmm. But what the hell do you do in the same streets? Where a black person mm -hmm. shoot another black mm -hmm. person because down in the streets. Uh, because of 4th of July weekend, yes. 60 people got shot in Chicago. Yes. I saw no That's outrage. That's just Chicago. I, I saw no outrage. You saw no protest. No protest No marching in the streets. No. No black no, lives matter. No, no, no Jesse yeah. Jackson. Uh -huh. no, no, no Al Sharpton. Uh -huh. No black you didn't see None of that. that. You don't see mm -hmm. none of that. But then just as soon as a white officer... Shoot a black person. I don't know. This right here. Well, that's the race thing. That's, that's pulling the at race the heart thing. Strings. And like you said earlier, it's not about the race. Uh -uh -uh. We and got to get our officer, the roof. Yeah, uh -huh. What it is, some of these officers, they are afraid they of are people. They are afraid. And some of them are afraid of black yes. people. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's what well, I see. You know, it's just like, okay, you have ISIS. Mm -hmm. Chopping off people's heads, mm -hmm. you burning people in cages, mm -hmm. drowning a group of people in cages or what have you. And you start to see this stuff on TV. Mm -hmm. You they actually showing footage of this happening. Mm -hmm. Okay? The next time you see someone that look like ISIS, what you gonna do? I'm gonna get scared. I'm gonna get scared. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna be like, let me hold my neck. Huh? Let me get. Uh. You gonna get you fear. I'm gonna already be on you defense. You already gonna be on defense. So okay. So our officers seem scared. Yeah. How? We got to, everything got to be dismantled and rebuilt. It's gonna have up. to be rebuilt because we, we got to follow. We got to have a new bylaw. First of yes. all, if you are officer, you can't be afraid of people. Your job is to protect and serve, not to overreact and kill. Well, me, the media need to stop uh, making people look like they it's are racist. monsters. That's, That's right. They got to stop making it look like people, especially our black people, something is wrong. Oh. They have to stop that, okay? Because even right now, if there is a white person walking down the street mm -hmm. and a black male is walking towards her or him, a lot of times they cross the street. Because people because don't want no fear. Trump. People don't want no Trump Look, Silk. It, it, I know. Where did that come from? Look, but, but wait a minute. It's but, not but, a, but now I know people may get offended by this. But if you look getting crazy, because I remember being at a gas station by myself. Uh huh. There was a group of black guys. Yeah. And then one of them started walking to my car. Mm hmm I politely cut my car on and left and went to another gas station. Mm -hmm. I don't want no trouble. Right there. You don't want no trouble. Right. But why do you think that they were going to be trouble? That's.
That's right. Mm -hmm. Where did that come You think that from? they were going to be trouble because of what you continue to see, what is continually being fed and through, the through the media, that this is trouble, this is trouble, this is trouble. Mm -hmm. And so wow. when you feel that, yeah. you get this in your mind, and then when you see it, you believe it to be what's happening right there. You believe it to be the truth of what's about to go down or what's happening right there because it's already branded in your, your mind. mind. So the media have helped brand Ooh, black people as to being the most this. dangerous type people. Yep. And then when officers approach them, they're already, they're on, already the on the defense. They're already on the defense. I mean, I... I it's sad. I mean, it, it's really, it's really, really sad. So how do and we so change that? How we, do we? Because I don't want to stereotype <clears throat> us, but I've done it. I, yes. Sound horrible, it, no, it don't sound horrible. It is what it is, and it's the truth. And T Diamond and still, we gonna keep it real mm -hmm. because even I've done it. Mm -hmm. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I don't, I don't know want, what you was yeah, gonna I don't do. Know, I don't want yeah. no trouble. I, I'm, I'm but where do it come by from? Myself. That's right. All of y'all are out here. Y'all right. walking towards my car. What the hell y'all want? Right. Why it's like, a, it's like a status quo. Where if you see a group of, of, of guys together, because now it's not... It's, it's not even about black guys anymore. It's white and black guys and white guys. It's, 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 mm -hmm. If you see a group of guys together, then, oh, my God, that's trouble. So you got to go the other way. But, see, that's what's being taught. I mean, they could have be, could be out there quoting Bible scriptures for all we know. No, we I think they know. were trying to sell mixtapes or something like that, but we, I know I wasn't into it. You know, oh, and that's stuff. another thing. That's another thing. Yeah. You know, this this Mr. Elton Sterling, he was out, he was out there selling job. CDs, right? Yeah. You know? He wasn't but, robbing nobody. But, 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 but this is where I'm about to go to. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I ain't knocking nobody for this. Uh -huh. But why don't he have a nine to five? Why? Well, is maybe it, he was an entrepreneur selling his DVDs, girl. But, but <laughs> I, I guess what I'm trying to say is this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's better. It could be better for us. It mm -hmm. could be better for y'all. It could be better for all of us. But we got to stop living in... in we got to stop putting it in our mind that this is all we can get. This is all we because are worth really, getting. and I'm not trying to put them out there. Mm -hmm. You know you're not supposed to be selling no damn CDs. You you know you're not supposed to be making no DVDs because really you're breaking the law. Right. Doing that in the first yeah. place. I mean, I'm not trying to throw yeah, no, no salt in nobody's game. Right. And really, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, do that right. You got I see, to that's right why education way. is important. Yes. And it's important for, for our people, for black people to sit yes. down and listen. Yes. Don't, don't, don't knock people. Sit down and listen. listen. So that you can see what's going on. Yes. So you can see, you know what? If, it looked like this brother may have had an entrepreneur spirit. Yes. But you can take that and you could have been doing something even the right way. The right way. Yeah. And not even been in front of a store where the homeless man called the cops. Yeah. But you have the Democrats mm. that have implemented so many different taxes yeah. on uh, people that have their own businesses to it cause them to not even want to be in business. Yeah. It's so it's so easy just to make it's, me. It's so easy to do just sit in front of the store just to and do, do that. This way. Mm -hmm. And so with President Obama implementing these programs for illegal immigrants, he need to be implementing programs for our brothers, our sisters, our white brothers, our well, white if you look, if our you look, American people. He don't say anything that he's gonna do for African American. He never have. But I tell you, one man that always say, yes. Donald Trump, I'm going to be the best. best I will be the best, best president, president for yes. African American exactly. people, and he's not afraid to say, yes. it. I am so happy exactly. that he is not afraid yes. to call it out. Exactly. Say it exactly because I believe that what will happen under a President Trump administration. He will take and have programs already set up and designed for you to be an entrepreneur so within your community mm -hmm. so you can hire people within In your, your community. community. Mm -hmm. And then people won't have to be standing mm -hmm. on the corners mm -hmm. just sitting there wondering mm -hmm. where they're going to get their next meal mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to these shootings, people, because I heard them on the news, well, what, if Hillary Clinton get in, what are you all, you know, are y'all looking for her to do something about this? Listen. This goes, we got to get to the root of the problem. Yes. I believe that it's time for the Justice Department to take a look at all of the police departments. Oh. Who are we hiring? Who are we and hiring? And we cannot have people that are scared of people to protect and serve. Yes. I do not believe this is about a race thing. Yes. This is about officers being scared and overreacting. And to there me. needs to be tactics put in place. When you see an officer, if you know of an officer being cocky, 
That's right. Yes. Somewhere Green where you pocket. can put a tip. Uh-huh. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I watched that show by, uh, uh, what's his name? Who? Uh, If Loving You Is Wrong. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Oh. And there's a cocky officer on I there. You know what I'm saying? Him. Yeah. If you see officers cocky like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There need to be a hotline where you can anon anonymously call and and say who the officer is, so mm -hmm. they can put somebody on this officer mm -hmm. to see what the hell's going on. Mm -hmm. Because you got some cocky ass officers out there. You got some, mm -hmm. and then you got some good officers. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, those cocky officers they outweigh our good officers. They outshine you, and I feel so bad for the officers because oh. now they got and had two two, two shootings. Yes. And this last one, yes. y'all, it makes your it makes the officers look make so bad. You, yes. Oh, I'm like, and no. then when you when you enact that in that pain in the in, in the in the minds of people, right. they feel okay. All officers is the same way, and, that's not and then true. they don't want to show no respect to none of the mm -hmm. officers. Everybody you know? is arming themselves to take down the. It's listen, lot you all. We still have good officers. We still have I will officers. always believe in our police. They are here to yes. protect and serve. We still have officers that want to do their jobs. And you have officers that don't overreact. They yes. really do protect and serve. Yes. Unfortunately, we had two cases and yes. that one in Minnesota, girl. It's just disturbing. I it's couldn't disturbing. believe that because now what you're telling me that as a black man, yeah. a black man cannot um, uh, uh, bear arms. Hmm. He cannot use the Second Amendment because if he have a concealed weapon and tell you about it, because he's reaching for his ID and you just get scared, you yeah. just shoot him. Uh -huh. Then they got this officer on administrative leave. And guess what? Wow. The only camera that they have is the camera with the girl. Oh, they don't even have, they don't, they don't even know. If uh, you stop me for a busted headlight, mm -hmm. nobody should have gotten killed. Give me my ticket. Ticket. And let what me is go. that? But see, these are some, some of our People, police officers. Overreaching. You're overreaching. They, they're, they're overreacting because of fear. fear. They fear they are scared. Yeah. Oh, that's fear. Yeah. You it's think fear. I'm playing? I listen, no, 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 no. I, I listen to the one in Minnesota. He was almost half nervous. Nervous. Yeah. He was I'm like, wait, 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 up. wait, yeah. wait, wait. Okay, something's not right here. Something's not right. And so I believe in a lot of these cases, a lot of these officers are, are afraid. Yes. So how we gotta fix that? We gotta change that. It has to that. be fixed, and it's gotta be changed on both sides it's now. To, on both sides, everybody. Everybody gotta show everybody. Everybody got to come to the table, and we shouldn't that. fear our officers. We shouldn't and fear our officers. officers should not fear us. fear us. That's where we're at, y'all. That's right. This ain't about white officers shooting black people. That's right. This is about why do our police officers? Why fear do they the people. fear people? That's period. right. And why do the people feel fear the police? Fear the officers. That's right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. until we can get that mm -hmm. narrowed down, right. and, and let's dismantle that and rebuild that back up, yes. we always going to have this problem. You know what the common denominator is? What is it? Fear. Fear. That's the common denominator between the two. Mm -hmm. Fear. Where in the hell do they False that fear? expectations are being real. You already got it in your mind. That's right. That officer already probably got it in their mind. It's going to be problems go. with this guy. Yes. They may have judged him by the way he, he looked. looked. Yes. I don't know. Don't know. And then the person that's whatever, they already got it in their mind that the officer is going to kill us. Exactly. Because of what the media keeps showing them. them. And yes. now somebody ends and up. And somebody's there. And all I can say is it's best to comply so you won't die. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's all I can say. Uh -huh, yes. Make sure that Even you are complying. Even though you complying. had a lot of people that complied and died. You know, I mean, I, hell, how do you say that, Diamond? Look, all oh. I know, I don't know. I woke up, it was on my TV, and I'm like, I'm outraged by it. Somebody is gone. Somebody that never had a criminal record. Mm -hmm. Worked every day, y'all. He was a supervisor at, at, a, at a cafeteria. Mm. His life is gone. Yeah. His girlfriend watch him die. A yeah. child in and, the back. And this a child in the, the back, back that will probably be traumatized for the rest of her life. Right. And she will now start feeling some kind of way about the police yes. because of what they did to her mama's fiance, fiance which would have been her stepfather. That father. she sat there father. and watch him or die her and saw him uh -huh. take right. his life. And then and the and the and the gentleman, um, thirty seven year old Alton Sterling, his son. Oh yeah, his son, from my understanding, saw. Oh, yes, Jesus. girl. It was, it was, it, it was so sad, and then to be helpless. Cause you can't do nothing. as a loved one. You because can't do if nothing. you go there, they gonna they gonna you you make because it now you're in trouble, trouble for, for the whole 
system. It's, it's going to have to be revamped. revamped. It's going to have to be revamped. Mm -hmm. And we can't keep voting for the same system that, that put this system, system in place. place. That's right. Because it was some Democrats huh? that did things to, yeah. up under their watch, that did Started things. Started with Bill Clinton and the crime mm -hmm. bill. Uh -huh. That did things to suppress blacks or to intimidate. That's and right. And make them feel inferior, inferior. when it comes yes. to policing and all of that. Exactly. It really was. Thank you.